you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the four new Mutt Heroes, some heavyweight cards, and a brand new limited time card. So obviously, I'm recording a little bit of this before, so he's not on the screen yet. We currently do have the Aaron Donald. It appears to be that they're going to be releasing if this pattern continues, they'll be releasing about four limited time cards total throughout the week. Um, so they dropped one, which was Aaron Donald yesterday. And I believe that they are dropping one today. It was kind of confirmed already. So we're going to be waiting for that one. But throughout this video, you're going to see the limited times, the four new mutt heroes that are being pre-released today. Obviously, if you guys have played the house rules or the solo challenges that, by the way, the solo challenges are increasing today. So you should be able to get your free pack today. If you get any of your free packs, you will be able to get any of these unreleased Mud Heroes anyways, regardless of whether or not they're released. But I'll still be showing you guys them to show you guys the ones that are being released into packs today. Overall, in the game, you'll be able to see on the auction block as of today, finally. And then we obviously get the last ones tomorrow, and I believe Friday. I think Thursday and Friday, which will be October 10th and October 11th, should be the last two days of the Mud Hero drops, which should also conclude the last two days of the limited time. Mud Hero cards. So we got Aaron Donald so far. We got the new one today. I'm going to go over all the Mud Hero cards. And if there's still time in the video, I'll show you guys the heavyweights real quick. Although I know you guys probably don't care about those. But before we head into this video, boys, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. We're at a, a little over 9.6k subs. If you guys could so kindly go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell. Let's get to 10k as quickly as possible, boys. Let's make this happen this week. And if you haven't already, comment down below what your personal opinion is on today's Mutt Hero cards and the Mutt Hero promo in general. And make sure to drop a quick like on the video, boys. Let's get this video to 200 likes. If you're a lowest supporter, the best way to show support is to drop a like. Let's head over to the Mutt Head screen to show you guys all these cards. All right, guys. So the first card on the list is Kyle Fuller, six feet tall, 190 pounds, cornerback for the Chicago Bears. I almost forgot their town for a second. So Kyle Fuller, right? I did rank him in my top seven cards from this promo. Would I recommend him? Probably not, but I'll give you guys my reasoning for that. So he has an 89 speed, 89 excel, 87 agility. The card's an athlete. He's got 88 jumping, 86 awareness, 86 play rate. So as a whole, his athleticism is one of the reasons that this card is even valuable. That's one of the biggest reasons. Because right now with cornerbacks and the way the game plays, you really need that athleticism with all those running backs that can break loose, the chase down speed, the ability to keep up with fast wide receivers like Randy Moss, Tyreek Hill, Torrey Holt, those guys. So the speed's important at cornerback, especially when we're at a point in the game now where the speed's kind of becoming necessary. 88 jumping, which is huge. Being six feet tall, 89 speed, good jumping. This card's going to be an athletic type corner. His play rack's a little bit low for a cornerback, although it's fine because with the right cams and power-ups, you're going to get that to a 90 anyways. His man, again, a little low. His zone coverage is a 93. So that's kind of one of the selling points on this card is his he is a lockdown zone corner with good athleticism. Now, if his press or man were a little bit higher, I'd be more in on this card because there's guys like, and this is the reason I don't really like him, there's guys like Jalen Ramsey are going to be at a similar price point or, or similar, you can get him out of the free pack, that's going to have threshold man above 90, zone above 90, press above 90, almost the same speed, almost the same jumping, better play rec, a lot of other things. He's going he's gonna to pretty much be better than this card at every single at every single ability that he can even like, pretty much everything jalen ramsey tops his card as a cornerback as a whole if you do chem this card up and power him up with john madden properly you can probably get his man to like an 88 89 his zone's like a 96 his press is like an 88 his play rec to a 90 and his speed to a 90 which will make this card pretty insane he does have a 77 hit power which again makes him jalen ramsey-esque he's really good at hitting he's a hard he's a physical corner physical athletic corner he's really really good on the right team he could be a monster although if he was just on any team i'd probably pick jalen over him he has high motor He's balanced, LB style, strips ball, yes, aggressive plays ball in the air, and penalty disciplined. Let's head over to the next one. So we got Joe L. Batonio, 6'4", 305 pounds, left guard for the Browns. I thought I'd be more excited about this card at first, but I did not. I'm not really a fan of his stats. A lot of the lineman stats are kind of lackluster on the Mud Hero promo besides the Castro. He does have a 70 speed, though, which is pretty good, especially at left guard for pulling and pitches and a lot of other things that he might actually come off the line for. 88 awareness, which is good. 82 acceleration, which is really good. A little bit low in the strength at 83. Now, this is what throws me off, right? So, he has a 90 pass blocking. He has got 87 pass block finesse. And he's got 81, I mean, 92 pass block total. So, pass block power is 90. 87 pass block finesse and 92 pass block. So, his pass block's elite. He's going to be an awesome pass blocker. But with that speed and with that acceleration and with the impact blocking of 86, you're hoping that his running block, his run blocking will be better. His lead blocking's a little low. So, although he can get out there and, and you know, pull perfectly fine for you his lead block's not going to help too much nor is his impact blocking and then his run block is a little way too low for me one in the 70 range you know i like my guards specifically i like my guards to be heavy run blockers and more so my tackles to be the heavier pass blockers 
and this card's kind of the opposite. He's gonna be heavy, good, and he's gonna be a good interior pass blocker. But guys like Bruce Matthews can both pass and run block, which is kind of an issue I've seen with this promo is that they've done things like that where they made the lineman only good at one thing. And then he also gets, um, let's see, high motor, yes, penalty normal. On to the next card, which is my favorite card of this promo Saquon Barkley, the best running back in the NFL. 91 overall, 5'11, 233 pounds. He's 89 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 90 jumping, 78 strength. Like I've been saying, I'm not going to go over this too much because I pretty much gassed this card up since before we even knew it was coming out. He's going to have powered up, which you got to power him up for his abilities and stuff. He's going to have 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 jumping, 94 agility, 79 strength. He's going to have 80 trucking, 86 elusiveness, 77 ball carry revision, 82 step arm, 89 spin move, 90 juke move, 92 carry, 93 break tackle. Powered up on the right team with John Madden, um, the par proper chems and everything. This guy's gonna have like a 95 break tackle, 94 carrying, 92, 93 juke move, probably have like an 81, uh, 91 spin move, mid tier trucking, good elusiveness, decent stiff arm with top tier breakaway speed. This card is though, and he could receive. He could decently receive with 74 catching and 70 route running short and spec catch. So as a whole, this card can pretty decently receive. He's gonna be a speed back, a power back, a one cut back. He's gonna be able to do it all. I'm super excited for this card, guys. And the last card for today, besides the limited time that I'll get to right after this, is JJ Watt. He has a 73 speed, 78 acceleration, 80 agility, 92 strength, 82 jumping, 92 awareness, 92 player. Play rec's awesome, strength's awesome, speed's a little lackluster, and the awareness is really good. He's obviously six foot five. He's a huge end. What really kills this card, in my opinion, is the block shed and the hip power. So I know you guys might not care to put hip power to end, but I like to lay the boom on my ends. And a guy like JJ Watt, he's a big guy, strong guy, one of the strongest guys in the NFL, probably at end. You think his hip power would be a little bit higher? Lay the boom on the running backs are trying to take pitches and in inside zones. Now the tackle is really good. The pursuit's good. Everything here's good. The finesse boom, power move are pretty good. Here are my two biggest issues with this card. His power move and finesse move should one of them should be 90 stock. It's JJ Watt we're talking about. His at least power move should be a 90 because you shouldn't have to power and chem this card up to get him to thresholds, but it is what it is. You can at least get it there, but his block sheds an 84, which means he's going to be a little lackluster in the run defense. In, in, uh, in that case, in my opinion, he's not going to be, you need quick sheds this year. You need really good 90 type block shedding sheds because if you don't, with how easy it is to break loose with evasive and arm bar and stuff, you really need to get that first guy in the backfield slow down the running back and then hopefully the the secondary and the, the linebackers can jump on top of them guys but that is about it for the cards that come out today let's head on over to the madden screen check out the limited time card and potentially check out the heavyweights all right guys so we're doing this through actually adobe photoshop where i didn't get the screenshot because for some reason my computer does not like me oh it does not let me open screenshots on their own sometimes it was taking way too long so i'm gonna do it through here where clearly i can see everything from the stream let's zoom in a little bit here so we can see the card up a little bit better so we got Jadavion Clowney 92 overall left outside linebacker pretty weird card out in my opinion I don't know he kind of looks like the bartender from family guy there he had a little big bit of bigger of an afro he's got the horns archetype right there I don't know what the, exactly that means maybe like some kind of bull rushing archetype limited time with training it's zero out of how many can you get a million there's a million of these doesn't really seem like much of a limit if there's going to be a million of these. Oh, there it goes. The ones I tell you that wouldn't open. Jadavion Clowney, anyways. He has 39 salary cap hit, which I don't know, guys. Like I always say, you guys know better than me for that. Now, here's my issue with Clowney cards. He always has, like, really well-rounded stats to the point where nothing really stands out. Although, this card might actually be really good depending on how you power this card up. If used correctly, this card is going to be a monster. He's six foot five which is huge if you guys have ever used clowny on kickoff on hit sticks he's just kind of like a dominating force always there huge big looking character art for him in the game he's going to be really good if they throw if they throw near him he's going to be able to pick it with that kind of reach 85 speed so he's one of the faster outside linebackers he has like a very lawrence taylor type build 88 acceleration this card's gonna be crazy fast at outside linebacker 82 strengths a little bit low but it's fine because he's an outside linebacker 84 tackle a little bit low 91 play rack is really good for the run game 90 power move which means he's an elite edge rusher 87 block show which means he's borderline an elite run stopper and 80 finesse move now i don't really care about the finesse as long as he has one of the other power finesse he's got threshold play rec threshold power move and he does almost have threshold block shedding so now if you power this guy up and you chem him up properly on the right team he will have above 90 block shedding above 90 pass rushing and really high athleticism if this card is on the right team with the right chems he's going to be one of the best run stopping pass rushing athletic uh, outside linebackers you can get he probably is even better than lawrence taylor the only issue is that i don't see clowning as a long-term option and he's way cheaper than lawrence taylor because clowny is obviously a limited time card guys now that is about for the clowny card let's head back over to the madden screen real quick all right guys so we're back on the madden screen 
No clownies have been pulled yet. Obviously, this usually takes a while, guys. But quick little reminder before I head out on this video. The new solo challenges did indeed just drop. I'm going to show you guys them real quick. If you want to go ahead and get these done as quickly as possible because you're going to be able to get your free pack. So it's called Fearsome Forecast. It gives you 25 more stars, which means that you guys can get like a grand total of about 155 stars, give or take. So that does mean you can now go ahead and complete the milestones and get them done and get your free Nat Hero Fantasy Pack. The only thing that uh, is going to be kind of difficult it's probably shady signals with the with the riddles and stuff that you have to get done so make sure to go on youtube plenty of people have posted already i know xerxes specifically posted it how to beat the shady single set and in the fearsome forecast there is no riddles so should be pretty cut and paste what you guys have to do it all is it's all there go get your objectives done get your free pack and make sure to be getting house rules done too guys as obviously house rules is important because that is your two free ways to get mutt heroes but house rules is time so i recommend getting that done first like i'll be doing and then hopping on over to the mutt hero solo challenges you guys don't know who to take out of these packs. I did drop two ranking videos, one going over the top 10 cards and one going over the top five to six that I'll take from these packs. Make sure to go check that out. I posted them yesterday and the day before that. But guys, that is it for the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button, boys. Get it to 10K as quickly as possible. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to drop a like on the video, boys. If you enjoy the daily content updates, make sure to get this video to 200 likes. And make sure to comment down below what you think of the new limited time cards and the new Mario cards, boys. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.